Hello folks, Android here, welcome to this new video. Today we're going to see some basic stuff for Godot. We're going to see exploring variables. This is a cool feature in Godot. It might be very useful and helpful inside your projects. So basically, what does it mean exporting variables? Exporting variables means that you're going to see these variables inside the inspector. So you don't need to really access to your script and you can change these variables directly from the inspector. There are different variables that you can export. And here is a little list that I made just to show you. For more information just follow the link down in the description and you'll go on the Godot documentation. There are more examples there. So clicking on the script of the node I can access to this this script and here we are. To export the variable you need to write down export then declare that it is a variable and then you can give a name. In the inspector you're going to find a space instead of underscore. So for example to export vector2 you need to specify it after a equal sign. This is actually a normal way to specify that it's a vector so nothing special. Then you have the possibility to export integer values or float values. You can export for example a range of numbers, for example from 0 to 10 or to minus 10 to 10. These are just a few examples, you can use whatever values you want. Then you have the possibility to export a texture and you can export color and this is going to create a color picker. Very useful if you're going to work with colors. So checking it on the inspector, you'll find your variables under script variables. So I have a vector 2, I have a vector 3, I have some numbers floating range values and the negative range values. In the texture I can actually load the texture. I can use the drag and drop feature and in the color I can choose whatever color and it gives me the code as well. So it's pretty handy to use. Then exporting the color RGBA you can access to the alpha channel as well. So this is very useful because the changing you're going to make on the inspector are actually going to affect your script. Okay guys this was all. Thank you for watching, leave a like and subscribe. I'll see you soon!